This is another video in the August Jamboree series. And I'm hoping you're watching all the channels producing videos Monday through Friday in August. Here are the channels. Tuli Lou Creates, Deep South Homestead. Diane the Candy Nana, Gemini Homestead. Helga's Pennsylvania Cookie, Homestead Dad. Jenny Gao, Sutton's Days, Vicky's Country Home and me, Prepper Potpourri. And remember, comment on a video, and at the end, we're gonna pick one random video, one random comment, and you might win this beginning canning set. As you might know, I have my own blueberry bushes, and they have been full of blueberries. It's my biggest blueberry harvest ever. And I've made some great blueberry crisp, and of course, eaten a lot. <laughs> just free from the bush, but I decided to make something interesting that I found here, yep, in the Better Home and Gardens Complete Canning Guide. I love this book. I've had it for a long time. And under chutneys and conserves, we have, let me get it here, blueberry, maple, pecan conserve. I mean, doesn't that sound great? Those are interesting flavorful combinations and I can't wait to try this. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you what I think it tastes best on. Let's get started. So for our ingredients, we need blueberries. They could be fresh, they could be frozen, but don't these look beautiful? Look how big they are. Oops, I touched them. I'll have to eat them. Mm. And then two cups brown sugar. And we need a cup of pecan pieces. And believe it or not, two bags of this. I think they were almost $4.79 a bag. And I needed not quite two bags. But I'm wondering if pecans are cheaper in the South. Maybe they are. Then you're gonna want to have real maple syrup. Don't use the fake stuff. It's important for this recipe and you need a cup of it. And you need a cup of currants and we're going to be using a teaspoon of cinnamon and two tablespoons of lemon juice. And have nice hot one half pint jars available. These are you need to have five one half pints. I've got four plus two smaller, the jelly jars. And it's a good idea to have a potato masher available for this recipe. Okay, let's get started. Now in your pot, put all your blueberries. Your one cup water. One cup real maple. Make sure you get all that goodness out. Okay. And two tablespoons of lemon juice. Oops, a little bit more. There we go. Now you're going to use your potato masher and you're just going to slightly crush your blueberries while you mix this in. I'll be back. We're going to bring this to a boil. Okay, we got it up to a boil here. We're now going to turn it down to simmer. Put the lid on. We're going to simmer it for five minutes. You may want to stir it occasionally in between. Our five minutes is up. We're going to want to carefully put in our brown sugar. Remember, that's hot. You don't want to splatter up on you. And we're going to add our currants. 
mix it all around and we want to get it back up to boiling and watch it keep on stirring until all the brown sugar is dissolved be back okay our sugar is dissolved so I'm going to take it down to simmer reduce it and we're just going to leave it on here for about a half hour until it thickens up make sure you come back and occasionally stir it you don't want it to burn on the bottom it's been a half hour it's thickened up a little I like this just a little syrupy so let's turn it off Fill our jars. Now we still have to add our pecans and a teaspoon of cinnamon. So stir that in. Then it's time to fill our jars. And we want to leave one fourth inch head space. So a little bit more. Okay, now we're going to fill the rest of our jars. And you know the routine from here. You're going to use your debubbler tool. Make sure there's no air pockets in each jar. Carefully wipe the rims of your jar so you're going to get a good seal. Put on your lids and finger tighten your rings. And now it's canning time. Now we're just going to put our top on, let it get to a good rolling boil, and boil for 10 minutes. So here they are out of the canner. As I do that, I see, you see the deer right there? Here's another one out my other window. It definitely sees me taking its picture. says, so should I run or should I not? You can see this is a lot more solid after it rests. And it is great on toast or an English muffin. Take a bite here. Mmm. -hmm. This is good. But let me show you how I like it even better cake and then I put the sauce in the microwave and warmed it up mm. doesn't that look good take a nice bite mm. <laughs> What a delicious way to have pancakes. And you could put some whipped cream on it too. Mm. So you don't have to make blueberry pancakes if you have this blueberry maple pecan conserve because it is great on pancakes. I really hope you've been enjoying this series, and I really hope you try to make blueberry, maple, pecan, conserve. I think you'll be very happy having this in your pantry. It's great on pancakes, but it's also great on English muffins and on toast, and probably in your oatmeal too. So, add this to your pantry. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're watching all the other videos in the series and commenting so that you might win that beginning canning set. Remember, watch the next video tomorrow. I need to have another bite. Mmm. This is just so good.